So I've been doing metalworking and knife making for several years now. And one of the things with knife making is knives are made out of hardened steel. And hardened steel is more durable, stronger, and doesn't dull as fast as regular steel. And the process used to make knives hard is called quenching. And the quenching process hardens the steel and makes knives more useful and last longer. Well, how you quench is you heat the metal to a certain point and dip it in a liquid to cool quickly. This alters the crystal structure of the steel, making it stronger and more durable, while making it a little bit more prone to cracking instead of flexing. Now with quenching, when you quench steel, if you quench it at too high of a temperature, it'll crack the blade and actually cause it to shatter in the liquid. Where if you quench it at too cold of a temperature, it'll come out soft and not at the full hardness, and the blade will dual dull very quickly. So I started thinking, this temperature range you're supposed to stay in, it's something that people know, but isn't actually scientifically tested very much. So, so I decided to actually test the effects of this temperature, of the temperature, on the structure of the steel itself. So I devised an experiment, quenched a whole bunch of metal at different temperatures, and tested how strong the metals would be. So this helped me figure out the strongest temperature, the temperature that creates the strongest steel. And with doing this, you can make stronger structures, stronger tools and pieces, and um, stronger and more resistant blades. And in the future, I'm probably going to test different alloys of steel. I tested with simple, low-carbon steel. I want to test high-carbon steel and steel with different alloys in it to see if the steel could be... Because how different additives affect the strength of the steel and how that affects the temperature range you want to quench in. So, yeah, if you want to look at my project and see my results, please feel free to.